Hey everybody, welcome back. We have anomalous clouds here. Unpredictable weather patterns in this part of the zone mean more cloud-related hazards than manifest at ground level. Look at the conditions, too. Uh, we have 6 out of 68. Like, there's a lot still to uncover here, which is kind of insane. Now, junctions and access roads. You'll often stop at multiple junctions on a drive into the zone. The only way to reach the next junction is via the gated access roads, which are automatically blocked when the route is too dangerous for travel. When the barricade is lowered, the way is the open for needs you. The different charge levels to overcome the conditions for a gateway. You'll have to feed anchors to the Octavice until it's satisfied, and she'll tell you how many she needs at any given time. Okay, so we have a pretty clear path here. I think we can hit uh, a couple of those buildings, and then there's two... Um, there's two anchors that are right near the exit. Like, talk about very good luck. Uh, for those that don't know, this game is a roguelike in the sense that every time you visit these areas, uh, it's different. The remnants are like us in a way. Those of us who Ties into to the narrative behind, too, right? Discarded and forgotten as they are. And by chose to stay, you mean actively defying government orders to evacuate? Then yes. You remember how we went without electricity for four months to dodge the clearing crews? There's, like, what? Only a hundred of us left? Whoa. If even that. Frankly, I'm surprised so many of us were unable to move on for one reason or another. Oh, speak for yourself. I'm here for the hunt. Hey, even better now there's no one to get in our way. Okay, let's take these. Now, the reason that these are nice, as we've learned, is a lot of our personal upgrades are based on plasma. And so we want to make sure that we're snagging those. We did get a nice little amount of upgrades, though. So we're a little bit more resistant to damage. Uh, we can take some higher falls if necessary. We're getting a bunch hey, of driver, tapes here. Not to be a down or nothing, but uh, I'm wondering what we do if you can't find a way out of the zone. They got themselves over the wall. They'll find a way to survive here like the rest of us. Or not. Won't be my problem at that point. What? I'd hardly call what we're doing here surviving. Ugh, look, hey, both of you always going on and on about putting up with this, ensuring that. There's more to life than that, you know? You, for example, Arpy, you're brilliant. You controlled fundamental forces of nature with your fingertips. Both of you did. <sighs> Slow down there, kid. We were scientists, not superheroes. Well, I mean, look, hey, to someone who was all thumbs when it came to hmm. science, they're one and the same. I just don't understand why you're wasting away here, borrowed away in the zone. Both of you, you're sitting on so much lost potential. Potential is a carrot on a stick for the young. An illusion to keep you forging on when you should have given up long ago. Nothing had more potential than limb technology. And look what it did to the Olympic Peninsula. What I did. Look around. We're stuck here. For good. All we can do is survive. Everything else is moot. I forgot what a charmer you Why'd are. Why that one go so aggro? An absolute living ray of sunshine and optimism. <laughs> I was gonna say, she was kind of telling us before not to really focus on the other guys and just listen to her and she'll get us through this. And then she says stuff like that, and I'm like, yeah. I don't know. Now, there could be some red herring situations going on, and I would highly suspect that there are. You never really know who to trust or... I'm gonna see if I can hit it. Nope. Okay, we're not gonna... We're not gonna test it too much. But yeah, I'm very curious to see where things lead. Our main objective here is to get through the expansion wall into this mid zone. It seems like uh, essentially another biome, if you will. We'll check out that little tower. I don't think we need to scrap every vehicle in here because ultimately our goal is to just get through this zone. Whoa. Hello. Nope. Doctor. Okay, I'm gonna park us in here. 
I'll leave it on. Am I maybe a little too far? Possibly. Cause I think I just marked the spot on the road to get out, so I'm... Oh, nice. This is good, this is good. Don't mind if I do. Do I have the extra crowbar on me? Uh, no, I don't. We have a transmuter that's looking for duct tape into batteries. I don't hate that. Look at that. It's so cool. Oh, I feel like I might have hit it. <laughs> I'm just wasting them. Uh, I'll take this, too. Thank you very much. A ceiling kit. Pretty rare to find that in full. What is this? Plasma charger. What if a modified cattle prod could be put to more humane use? What if it could help motivate an exhausted car instead of a hesitant heifer? Point this at your battery to reinvigorate your life. Oh, cool. Okay. Uh, let me do some rearranging here. Well, it sounds like I'm about to be eaten. Okay. You read that. Now, do I have any duct tape? I actually do. I have a little bit. That's not enough. I can check the car, but not a huge deal. We'll bust this up. Okay. Let's eat. And let's get let's get moving. We're not going to we're not going to check the duct tape situation here. We have everything, all the duct tape was on us anyway. Okay, so now, should I just follow the road? It tends to keep me out of trouble more than if I beeline it through. However, we do have the off-road tires, so maybe we'll check, like, we'll try um, cutting across around here. Let's just see what we can do. I mean, it's definitely better. <laughs> Doesn't mean we can go through trees. But... Yeah, that's, that is way better... ...than the summer tires. I mean, with the cloud-based stuff, doesn't seem to be impacting us today. Oh, speaking of impact, though. Let's cut across here as well and stay away from the abductor. Okay. I'll hit this. Walls are a tomb. Yeah, beautiful. Okay, so I need a, an electrician's kit for that. Do I have what it takes? Yep, I do. Will it be worth it is the real question.
We need a new pry bar before we leave. Okay. How are my other tools looking? They're fine. Okay, seems like we have the time, so we're gonna check that house. We'll grab both of those anchors, and then we're out of here. Okay, so there is something coming in there. Should be a minor impact. Thank you. I have a feeling when we get to that new biome, all of this stuff that we are finding is going to be quite different. Okay. Uh, let me grab the rations here because it looks like I'm gonna have to take a little bit of damage to do this. We'll eat this. Swap those. And I'll go for the further one, because I can't grab both, right? At the same time. Let's do a big heal there. We'll take this one, run it all the way back, and then we go and grab the other one. That just... Oh my god. That thing launched me and then launched the, the anchor, too. Come on, light it. I'm curious to see how, like, the unstable and the corrupted energy is going to present itself. <sighs> Easiest anchors of my life. The storm is pretty major, though. That grew pretty rapidly. Okay. Let's peace out. Very clean. Very clean. Nothing blew up in my face. It's awesome. Okay, so now I guess I'm going here. It says it's a turncoat status. Don't know what that means either. It's a little ghost icon. Okay, well. Extreme conditions turncoat. Sometimes that which you trust the most might still turn against you. Oh no. You talking about my car? Are you talking about my car? It's incredibly possible that you are. Now, the thing is, uh, we don't have an exit point here. See, we've got this. But it's closed. And if we look at the log stuff that we got recently. What do we have about highways? Smoother, easier ride. 
access roads. You often stop at multiple junctions on the drive into the zone. The only way to reach the next junction is via the gated access roads, which are automatically blocked when the road is too dangerous for travel. When the barricade's lowered, the way is open. Oh, jeez. Oh god, that was... Reach 88 miles an hour? Yeah, I did. Got an achievement for it. And almost lost my front end. Sweet. <laughs> Sweet. Did my car just honk? Oh jeez! A shock tourist. You know what? Uh, it's an increasingly bad time in the zone these days. Every day when I step out my door, I should get a different job. I should do something else. It's getting worse. I swear these things are all but springing up out of thin air. And now we have this chain reaction thing, this brutal deadly trap that just outright slaughters people. Whole lines of these dummies, any one of them capable of setting off all the rest. Seven people have died in three days. You know what it feels like to me? Like the zone is murdering us, even like it enjoys doing so. It's as if something really, really doesn't want us here. And you know what? That's fine by me. Tomorrow morning, I'm out. Now the question is... Oh god. Yep. That was a very large explosion. It is no longer a question. To this point, I don't think we have a way of... Do I have a way of crafting any type of healing? Okay, what is going on? What? That's Psalm 23 now. 23, one of our ministry's most beloved psalms. And so he says, I make if you lie down in green pastures, I lead if you beside the still water. Now, if I connect in the Lord, even when we are... And this is only broadcasting in the car? That he will guide our body, and he will take us to the green pastures of his body. I fear not, because the Lord is my shepherd. But we are members of Jesus Christ's earthly ministry. What the we are made frick in his is happening? Image. And as the children of God, the earth will not be our last home. A Revelation 7.17 says... The lamb in the midst of the throne will be our shepherd. I'm getting... Okay. okay, something's happening with my car. It's got some quirks now. When the lights go on, it honks. <laughs> or when you honk, the lights go on. One of those two things. However, I'm also not dr I'm not doing that. So what is what is causing my car to be possessed? Look at it's like shifting gears by itself. But that's not triggering the honk. Neither is the lights. So this is not something I'm controlling at all. Oh my god. Oh my oh my god. I got a tourist. Just appeared out of nowhere. Okay, sit here. I'm gonna keep my car turned off. So even if it does do some weird stuff, it shouldn't be able to drive it. The Lord, the Lord took it over, okay? The Lord took it over. Please explain. My car has been possessed by Jesus. Oh, that's a, uh... That's a dumpster pearl right there, baby. Happy to see that. Okay, and then lastly... Check this building. We can break that down. Is there anything behind? 
No. So maybe it's maybe it's not a quirk. My car is still honking though, I can hear it. Look at So weird. Also, um need to get my hand back. Okay, dump that. Can we rearrange some of this stuff? That'll work. Actually, let me bring this in there too, and then transfer it back. There we go. Oh, this is- oh, this is- oh, yeah, right. This is the zone thing. This is what it was talking about. Where your car is just gonna start doing its own thing. That's exactly what it is. It's the zone. Okay, I feel like... I feel like that might be a different anomaly that we haven't seen. This- this swirl. No, that's a left-right. Okay, we've seen that. Dude, I even took the keys. Oh, yeah, but I guess if it's on a slant... It's just gonna do its own thing. Okay, let me grab an anchor and see what happens, because... We might need to just get out of here. Now, the thing is, this isn't gonna connect us anywhere, unfortunately. So we might have to explore another path, and that's fine. Alright, what I could do is, uh, I mean, I might as well go for the other ones. Or at least one of them. There might be a maximum amount of energy I can bring back. I appreciate having my own DJ in here, but I'll pass on the haunted DJ, thanks. What was that? Ah, oh, hopped up. You can recharge my battery. Thank you. And actually, check this out. I can actually link to one that's really close. Oh no. Did I get an abductor? Oh no. Oh boy. Whoa, dude. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. All's fine. It's all good. Oh, I'm trying to dodge it. Okay, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. I'm actually close enough to where... I may try to snag this. Where is it, though? I don't see it. Well, there it is. Okay. Abductor be damned. This is the ultimate greed.
<laughs> no, 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 I got it. We're good. Very smooth. Go. She's maxed. Huh. Well, I mean, who knows? Who knows what that was? That was definitely something. We got a ton of energy off that, so they use successful. this technology to stake down pockets of stability in an area. Basically, they delay how quickly you're turned into Swiss cheese out there. Let's turn the car off. And we won't spend a lot of time here. We'll have to map another path there and see what we can do. This might give me another scrapper. Mine's low, but... A door. No scrapper. Huh. I don't have any quirks, so that's good. However... Let's just get a quick little repair job in. And then we'll check the upgrades. I think the next engine was four energy, right? And we're bringing back the max amount that we possibly could there. So I'm curious as to whether or not that's gonna give us that, that four. I can't wait till there's there's got to be an upgrade somewhere in there that's like, hey, uh, repair your car just by driving in here. Okay, that also needs a ceiling kit. Uh, let's take all of this, dump this, and then let's get a ceiling kit. Fix that up. And then I have my pearl as well. We'll dump that in there. Dump all of our goods. The flares I'll keep. I have been using them quite a bit actually. Materials, though. See ya. Okay, so let's look. 5.3! Damn. Uh, I'm tempted. I think I will build this. New engine. Turbo light. Heck yeah. Eight-cylinder custom-crafted powerhouse boasting a turbocharger, electronic multipoint injection, improved compression ratios, and a stainless steel exhaust manifold. Very cool. Very cool. Now with the other 1.3, what might I want there? Maybe an improved antenna, but I don't have enough energy. Deco vend, no. Fuel stuff, I think we're fine. Maybe like, maybe this liberator now? Nevertheless, cleanly, carefully remove individual sections. Let's try it. Okay. And then let's check here. Personal airbag seems good. Best protection you can get against any potential physical harm. Everything else is requiring like really bizarre things that we've never seen. How cool would it be if I could actually look at myself? If the zone keeps beating you up, this will substantially soften the blows. Okay, very kind, very kind. Now, if I'm looking here, we're trying to get there. 
Now this says it will link there, interestingly. So... That's got to be what we want now. So the path that we took before basically got us up to here, right? But I think now... Now I've got, like, the this highway... So maybe I don't have to drive through here. Maybe that's what they're talking about with the highway stuff. And we will find out in a second. But yeah, let's ride out there and see. This does have this and an extra crowbar. I'm just gonna throw that into here so that I can keep track and know like this area is getting too full or not. All right. That was very clean and we grabbed a ton of energy. So it, it tops out at like just over five-ish. Maybe there's a way to even increase that. Like the amount of energy you can bring back. But to be fair, we had a pretty optimal setup. High instability. Right, okay. So we've, we've set, yes, this is going to be unstable. But if I go through here, then I have to drive through here, drive through here. Now we've got this highway set up so that I can just, I can get there. It's going to be a bit crazy. Battery sapping, anomalous cloud, swift storm. We're basically just going to try to drive through it. Not messing around at all. I think that's our goal here. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's literally just... Oh, cool. All right. It's literally just a, a highway. And there's nothing happening in here except for all the potential anomalous issues. So maybe I even, maybe I will stop at that house. Just do a quick, or at this tower, just do a quick little check-in, see what's there. I think the main benefit of those is being the transmitter stations. And uh, I don't have any materials. And you don't know what the, oh, it's this thing. Yeah, sorry, I, I misunderstood. I thought it was a tower, but it's one of the trailers. Never mind. This has been just a nice little scavenge and chill episode. I'm 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 digging it. Nice little change of pace, especially from the heated sections we were in recently. I'm gonna whip up another Oh yeah, well I actually can't. I need plastic. So I might I might need to stop and break some stuff down because I need plastic. I don't know if I get a lot of that from the cars, so I will, uh, I'll stop at that house at the end as well and see if we get lucky. Oh, I made the engine, didn't install it. <laughs> Damn it. Can you believe I did that? I can. A box truck. Hello. Never occurred to me that this would become a logistical nightmare. By the end of the decade, Operation in the Zone involved over 100 scientists, twice that in order in uh, support staff and technicians, another 100 staff in engineering disciplines, and more than 2,000 military personnel. The last figure is particularly difficult to estimate. Oh, and trucks. Trucks all the time, rattling back and forth, moving gas, moving mechanical equipment, cabling, furniture. I guess we all need sofas, right? I'd have preferred a light rail network, at least more freight, 
But after those early incidents, it's like everyone is scared to get on any train within a hundred miles of this place. Like they're cursed or something. So it's trucks all day uh, and all night. You know what we brought to the zone? Traffic jams. And now we're starting to move everything out again. Downsizing, they call it. Or just outright plundering abandoned equipment. Nice. Come on. Oh, hello. The mother load. Yes. Deckle stamp. Brown paint. Uh, okay, hold on. Record player. Radium driver, the shuttle, paints, blue paint, color blue is the true artist choice, uh, duh. Mirror ornaments, the record player, take a message with you into the zone because who knows what you might be able to reach and what could ever be better than genuinely connecting with those around you. After all, that's how inspiration happens. Now the record player is, is an interesting uh, option because it, that came up at the start as, like, one of the other remnants that was discussed, if you'll recall. I gotta put these in first. Then dump the rest. This is a full steel door. I mean... Like, I could take it. Alluring, mysterious, black is eternally popular, always chic, and all and forever debonair. <laughs> Make everyone ask, who is she? Brown paint, Pacific brown echoes the musty tones of the wild northwest, calling to the mind, uh, calling to mind the crispy spray of a young skunk. Sudden slips on rainy slopes and the discovery of fresh mud tracked across living room carpets. I have a, I have an idea for a uh, a color scheme. Believe it or not. Let's make a scrapper now. Make sure I have that back up. And then let's move these. Move these over. Uh, move the ceiling kit. Now move those. And we'll put the rest into here. Feels good being organized. You know, I like it. And I got my scrapper concern handled, so... Let's move on. The only things we'll want to check here is like other potential trucks like that, I think. Or or if we can scan something that has like heavier armor, that'd be cool. But I do feel like that's that stuff is probably behind this wall that we're trying to get to, right? That would make sense. This will check. Consider it checked. I've, these chests, they like, they're the thing that blends in the most. Okay. So setting up those highway, highway routes seems very beneficial. You know what would be more beneficial? Building and installing the frickin' engine that you spent four massive amounts of energy on. That would be incredible.
So now we, we want to just hit the exit, really. And this is the area with all the, the stuff. The bad problems. Battery sapping. Environmental distortion in this part of the zone mean that all car battery usage will be much higher. Okay. I love it. Thanks. I'm basically going to head straight for here. And the way I'm going to do that, I'm going to follow the road and then go straight instead of turning. Uh, it does look like there's going to be some elevation, so it could be a nice little test to see if we can climb with these tires. Uh, but if not, then we'll just, we'll go around. Uh-oh. Yep. Yep. Oh my god. Yep. Okay, well. I did go through that. All right, let's see. I It looks pretty steep. I don't think this stuff is going to... I don't think this is going to be climbable. Well, actually... To quote Jurassic Park, life finds a way. And this is... sort of not really getting it done, because I need to go significantly higher. <laughs> let's see. Let's test the limits. If I can climb something like this, I'll be pretty impressed. Like, we're in the red for the slope. You can see it. But I'm still moving. So... I'll take it, man. Come on. Come on. I'm basically vertical. Do not left-right me. Oh, I'm so close. Maybe a left-right could be sweet here. You know what we need? We need, like, a turbo upgrade, which probably exists. Let me see if I can go around the left-right on that other side. I may have lost all my momentum was maybe doing some of the heavy lifting. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. No. Come on. I can see it. I can see it. We got it. Wow. No, no. No. No, don't. No. I have no control. I had no control. Storm warning. Excellent. Lovely to hear it. <gasps> Ooh, this looks like a different kind. Guys. I'm going to take from this tube. Light blue paint. Of course. Let's read it. Because... We have time for that. Family of the Future Marketing Campaign. Good. Noted. Is this our first unstable? Yes, it is. This anchor has clearly suffered a great deal of damage and degradation. It may not be wise to touch this or take it away or keep it. Oh, no. Why? Oh, okay, this has caused some problems, clearly. Okay, we need to go to the right. We're gonna follow the path out of here and go for the exit. I'm not gonna try to get the other, the other uh, anchor. I'm thinking I might try to just beeline it straight here. The car is kind of... Like, you can see the question mark in the dash there. There's some times where it's just getting taken over. Oh, God. This is what she's built for. Don't panic. This is great. 
Everything's fantastic. With zero problems. Okay. Now here... A little concerned about these swirlies. I could stop and maybe check some of those buildings, but maybe I'll do it from up here. Seems a bit safer. And it looks like we've got time. Is that another type of tourist? No, it isn't. Getting pretty quick at clearing out these trailers, I will say. Okay. You know what? I'm good with that. I wonder if you can mix energy types in your vehicle. What is that, dude? Yeah, my car's just getting melted. I don't know if the next zone that we're going into has perpetual stability or not. Oh, what? Oh, I must have hit the edge of the swirlies. Fatigue. All car components suffer wear and tear, but this is even more pronounced in the zone. Eventually, almost every component is going to need replacing. Sometimes all you can do with a worn-out part is dispose of it. Fair. It doesn't seem to indicate either um, what type of energy is in there. Although, it's like more of a white than what I've noticed previously. Wait, I just want to double check. Have I scanned this anomaly? Yeah, I have. Okay, let's fly through here, guys. We'll probably wrap up the episode here for today, and then uh, the next one, we'll explore this area that we're in. Okay, so, yeah, here, and then we need to find an exit. Eerie darkness, gusts and gales, so same kind of idea. Maybe what we'll do actually is, let's check the road, let's see how complicated it is, and maybe we'll drive through here today as well. Now, interesting. That does not connect us. This part of the zone is frequently subject to high winds. This part of the zone is unusually even abnormally darker than usual. Huh. Gate's too close. That's fine. So this is blocked, which means I'm not going to connect through here. Interesting. So I have two gateways right here, which is kind of nice. And we've got the... Uh, what are these called again? Come on. Receiver signals. So, I think we'll go for that. Uh, this is going to be a little bit more complex, so we'll pause here. And then when we return, um, we'll go and grab these. And hopefully teleport back, do the engine, and then see about making our path towards that destination. I thought we would be able to get there, but this road is closed. So, uh, thank you guys so much. Wish me luck. Bye.